Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I am making pulled pork nachos for the Super Bowl. Can you tell who my favorite team is? Unfortunately, they're not in it. Anyway, uh, this recipe is perfect for you know entertaining. We're gonna be cooking our pork in a crock pot first for four to six hours. And then when that's done, we'll just put our uh, nachos together you know, at the last second. Uh, we'll spread chips on a tray for a nice big party put on our pork and all our other goodies, pop it in the oven, and we've got a delicious appetizer in just a matter of minutes. So I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after this. So I'm gonna show you the ingredients as we place everything into our crock pot. No sense in, you know, repeating myself twice. So we've got some diced uh, yellow onion, Next is our pork. Now I bought a pork butt and I uh, had the bone taken out of it because I didn't want it in there. And so all I did here was just trim it up a little bit of some excess fat. If you've got excess fat, you probably want to get rid of it just so it doesn't make your, your pulled pork too greasy. But you want to leave plenty in there um, because that's where the flavor is. It's really going to make this thing taste delicious. So I'm just going to place, like I said, everything in there and we'll talk about it as we go. Our next ingredient to go in is my minced garlic. Now I've got four cloves here that are minced up. And guys, remember you can get all the ingredients down below the, in the description of this video. Now I'm gonna save my liquid for last. That will help push everything, all the ingredients down, but I'm just gonna smash this in a little bit so we can get started and spread it around. Next here, I have a combination of regular chili powder and ancho chili powder. I like to use both in this. Uh, the chili powder is a little spicier than the ancho, but the ancho is more smoky and um, I don't know, sort of earthy flavored, so we're gonna put some of that in. Next, I have a little ground cumin. Here's a little dry mustard. So in goes one bay leaf. We'll add a little salt. Now for our liquids, I have some Kinder's Organic Mild Barbecue Sauce. Guys, you can use any kind you like, whatever your favorite is, it'll work. And then over here, I have some apple cider vinegar. And right up here, I have some orange juice. So that's all going in. So we'll just put the lid on this and place it on high and we'll check back with it. Well, I'm gonna stir it a little bit as it cooks, you know, in a couple hours, and then uh, we'll cook it for about four hours. The pork has been cooking now for about four hours, so it's time for me to take it out and show it to you. And we're gonna shred it up and then we're gonna place the, the shredded pork back into the sauce and then we'll be ready to make our nachos. Don't forget to remove your bay leaf, take that out. Now there's still gonna be some fat on some of this meat so whatever you see, you know, you can just take off. Look at this, it's just falling apart. It's beautiful, nice and tender, guys. This is beautiful, beautiful uh, pork. Just practically fell apart. So if you see any big chunks of fat, you know, you just wanna take them out. All right, so we'll just go, go ahead and finish going through all the meat and then I'll place it back into the crock pot and be ready to serve. All right, once we got all the pork shredded, you can see I've got it all done here. And I, this is my little pile of fat over here. I'm gonna place, let's use a spoon here, this back into the sauce because that's, you know, gonna keep it nice and moist and warm. So you wanna keep your, um, your pork in the crock pot and then you can make batches of nachos as you go. I wouldn't make a gigantic, you know, big batch of nachos if you don't think everybody's gonna eat it, uh, you know, in a pretty quick amount of time because nachos can get soggy. I have my oven preheating to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. I've got a baking sheet here with some foil on it. Make the cleanup easy. And we'll just spread some chips down here. I'm not gonna do a full tray because I'm not having a party right now. So, you know, it's me and my son eating this. I'm not adding a whole lot of toppings to this. You can customize this any way you like. So, you know, feel free to add different cheeses or, you know, um, vegetables, whatever pleases you guys. That's what I love about this dish. And this pulled pork is great. You can use it in tacos or burritos or enchiladas. And I'm just gonna use some tongs here and I'm just gonna sort of spread, you know, do the best you can spreading it out. Mm -hmm. 
Then I'm going in with some cheese. I'm using cheddar here. This is mild cheddar. And I'm also using some Monterey Jack. You could use um, pepper jack would be great on this. And you can keep it simple like this, guys, or you can add some more stuff. I am going to add a little bit of uh, diced up jalapenos, just for a little kick. And this is just going to take five or five to ten minutes, depending on how long it takes for this cheese to melt. So in the oven we go. All right, guys, these took about four, about four or five minutes in the oven, nice and hot. The cheese is melted. This is great for a party, guys. Now, the other thing I'm going to put on here is I love avocado. I'm going to sprinkle some on. You could do tomatoes. You could do green onions. I mean, you know, the ideas are just unlimited. You know, you're going to make a touchdown <laughs> with this recipe. So, uh, guys, I hope you try it. And last, and last for us is a little bit of sour cream. So I got it in my little squeeze bottle here. I love these bottles, guys, because you have really good control over your, you know, your sour cream. You can just drizzle it on just like this. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you guys will make this for the Super Bowl or any party that you're having. Can't wait to dig in here. I'm gonna find, oh, this looks like a nice chip. Look at this, guys. Beautiful. Cheese just dripping all over. A nice sturdy chip too, that's important. All right, let me give it a taste. So delicious, guys. Mm, you got, your guests are gonna love this. This is delicious, you're gonna love it so much that you're just gonna leave me a thumbs up, right? So guys, leave me a comment. Uh, let me know how you like this. Let me know what kind of toppings you would like to put on your pulled po pork nachos. Pulled pork nachos, if I could just talk. All right, guys, so thanks so much for watching. Please share the video, you know, tell all your friends, and I really do appreciate that. So thanks so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, this is your first time here, I've got a button right over here, and there's a subscribe button down below the video. So click that, you'll be notified every week when a new video comes out. So thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time, and enjoy the Super Bowl. Touchdown nachos!